Good morning, women in tech, and welcome to the slow start of this morning. I'm Elin Eriksson. I function as the, the director for Women in Tech Sweden, and uh, this is how we soft start the morning. Uh, and this is Paulina Modlitba. Yes. We have our own TV show. Yeah, finally, right? <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> and I'm the program curator. That's a pretty difficult word to say, curator or director. Um, and we've been working together for like five or six years now. Yeah, maybe more. Maybe more. more. Yes. Uh, and we have a colleague uh, who's in another studio because we are virtual, we're digi digital, we're all over Sweden and all over the world. The world, basically. yeah. So we have Åsa Johansson in the city studio. Hi Åsa, how are you? Hi girls, Hi, good morning. Hi girls, good morning. Good morning. How was your morning? We haven't seen each other today, which is quite strange when we have been working so tightly together for the last weeks and months. We haven't, but this... Uh, this it's so, so familiar in one way, right? We're looking at each other through screens. Yeah. A little bit more makeup, maybe, but um, <laughs> but uh, normal, normal, but not normal. Yeah. How's your morning? Oh, it's it's amazing. Uh, yeah. Finally, we have been waiting uh, a year to do this again. Uh, and last time we were at the Waterfront uh, Congress about a year back. Yes, uh, we it, had two thousand one hundred women checked in. Yes, like a day before the pandemic hit. Um, so actually, for me, this experience has been less stressful than last year because it's been more controlled now, and we know we've known the whole time what we're aiming for yeah. to build sort of the best virtual conference experience ever. Yeah, and what we're doing this morning is to, as I said, have a sort of a slow start. We have some breakfast prepared. Yeah. We're going to be chit-chatting, and we're going to look at the chat uh, where you all yes. are sending in greetings right now. Yeah, I think that's why we have our computers here. Yeah. So this will be like our desk, uh, and we will share with you some thoughts about uh, the program, the speakers, and you'll have a, a preview of the pianist and the piano bar. Um, and we're just going to be your company for, for breakfast. Yes, we have breakfast here. And hopefully, uh, please join us with breakfast in front of your screens. And let's make this cozy. Yeah. yeah. Did you get coffee, Osa? I have coffee. How's your coffee? Oh, it, it's perfect. And I think I'm going to need... Let's do a share. Yeah, I, <laughs> and a good toast, toast, everyone. Let's toast. <laughs> toast. <laughs> to Women in Tech 2021. Yeah, exactly. Cheers. Here we go. Just <laughs> coffee. Cheers. That's perfect, isn't it? Mm. All right. So um, we're going to talk a bit about the interactivity of the platform and, and the chat. Yes. And obviously, if you are watching us right now, you are at the main stage. Um, and you can see that there's a chat function. Uh, to the right of the, the the video screen, right? I think most people actually found it already. There are so many good mornings from all over the world. I, I mean, this is this is really heartwarming. From Elvsjö, Årsta, Huddinge, cheers, woohoo! It's it's there's a party going on here. Oh, that's so fantastic! <laughs> yeah. And I think we saw that already um, yesterday mm -hmm. because people were starting to, to log into the lobby and today we are opening up more rooms and letting people in to, to sort of see what we have been creating for mm, weeks and months and days and up until the very last minute until we let you people in. <laughs> so, I mean, a digital conference is it's much more complicated in a way uh, yeah. because we have to, have to know everything in, an, in advance. Uh, and have to, it has to be planned for. Uh, so it's it's super, super excited to do this. And our goal with a physical conference has always been to build um, an experience that sort of out of this world in a way, sort of spectacular. And, and we definitely wanted to do that, with, I mean, with this digital virtual version as well, um, to sort of showcase, show that it's possible um, and, and to, to actually feel the presence of other people as well. And that's why I'm super happy to see the action in the, in the chat. Mm -hmm. It seems like a lot, some people um, are not hearing what we're saying, but fortunately there are people helping each other out in the chat. Um, there's apparently um, a button that you can click on the top right of your screen. 
if it, if the audio is not working for you, it might be yeah. muted. So check that out. And I'm super glad to see that you're supporting each other in the chat. Yeah, exactly. And there's a there's a help section uh, at the info desk as well. And yes. I, I think we have something about this. We have a Q and A uh, in the info booth. Exactly. Yes. Um, and. What we what we strive to do with the with the women in tech um, initiative and organization is of course to you've heard this before but let's just get it out there we need more women in the tech industry mm. period uh, and we want the, the women that are already in the industry to remain to stay and to evolve and develop uh, develop themselves and develop code and, and services and, and everything yeah. um, and what we try to provide is to make sure that you have a better network so that you get the support that you need. Because basically, if you're all alone in a team, being the first woman or the only woman or, or non-binary or, or other minorities, basically, you could use that support to know that you are not alone. And uh, we want to be your company, right? But we also want to make sure that you see that there are other people like you. So what we try to do is make sure that we display a variety of people that you can sort of mirror yourself into. If you can see that there's a place for you in this industry, we hope that you can stay and that you want to be here with us. If you can see it, you can be it. Yeah, that's, that's sort of the <laughs> motto, isn't it? I'm starting to sound like Megan, Megan Marco. Yeah, well, yes. it's very, very <laughs> on, on the topics right now, isn't it? What yes. an interview. Um, is this where we, when we uh, take a preview in the piano studio? Yes, I think so. I'm, I'm, you know, I love music. We all do, uh, and we have an amazing pianist with us. Sort of partly, maybe inspired by one of my favorite places in the world, the Dueling Piano Bar in Austin, where we usually are at, at, you know, in March at South by Southwest. Um, a bar where you can request just about any song, and we made that possible here as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have a pianist. Her name is Eleanor Asp, uh, and she's amazing. And yeah. you have a song request, Paulina. Yes, we do. Uh, hi, Eleanor. Hello. Hey, are you ready? I'm ready. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so I'm going to be really, really bad here, in a sense. What? Well, because one of my absolute favorite artists is Kate Bush. Oh my God. <laughs> so I don't know. I oh. mean, it's really early in the morning. Yeah. Um, are you okay oh. with doing like yeah, a, just, a Kate Bush song? Yeah, yeah. I'm just getting a giggle attack here behind the piano. My favorite one, I don't know. I have several favorite ones, but uh, L'Amour Looks Something Like You is one of my absolute favorites. Wow. <laughs> Do you know it? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a challenge uh, this okay. time of the day. Yeah. But I love the song and uh, I'm going to give it a try. Okay, okay. I know you can do it. All right. You came out of the night Wearing a mask in a white color My eyes were shining In the white of your aura All in all
Wow. Thank you. There's so much praise in the in the chat. It's goosebumps. <laughs> so impressed. What a voice. Can we start every morning like this? Of um, course. Yes. Oh, I could do that. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Eleanor is going to be in a piano room. Mm. Also, would you talk us through a bit about the networking? How, how's that going to, how, what are we going to do about networking today? Yeah, for, I think most of you have seen the lobby and the fantastic way to enter the main stage. That's where you ended up here. But in there, you will have the networking lobby as well. We have prepared some different rooms for you with some different topics. Those topics is just to get the conversation started. Because, you know, when we put fantastic women like you in a room, the conversation just flows as it goes, right? So uh, go into the network lobby, see if there's anything there. You will also find some, a new networking area called wonder.me. Uh, check it out. It's the first uh, on a platform like this. Uh, so go and check it out. That's really, really cool. When different bubbles come together and you will create like a video room or a chat room together. You will also be able to connect with people on the platform on the navigation. You just search for people and you will be able to chat or video chat with them, whatever is convenient for you. So there's uh, tons of activities because uh, Women in Tech is all about that. Doing the role modeling, making sure that the network's there for you. So go check it out. I think it's going to be amazing. Yeah, and from what we see in the chats, people are already getting started yeah. and warming up. And this yeah. is what we do right now. Okay, if, you, if, you just, uh, if you just uh, jumped into this main stage, hi, this is Ellen, this is Paulina, this is Osa, and we're just warming up. I mean, the real program starts at 10. Yeah. So this is just to, to sort of snap your fingers open and get the keyboard warmed up and, and get a feel for what we're about to do today. Exactly. Uh, and we're going to have... Did we mention yoga? That we actually have yoga as well with Wayne. Uh, there's an amazing yoga instructor. And um, I told her to be kind, uh, not too intense, because <laughs> I guess you don't want to get too sweaty and tired in front of your screens. But it's yoga suited for people who sit in front of the screens a lot. So a way to sort of stretch and, and meditate a little bit and, and sort of get into the to the flow and uh, de-stress in a way. So um, twice today uh, during the, the breaks, you'll have a possibility to join Wayne in her yoga room from what we call the Wonderland, where is you, the place where you access all the wonder uh, rooms. Mm. Yeah. So you will be able to meet each other, but of course, as we have been talking about, there are plenty of uh, people to listen to who will be on our stages. Yes. Uh, so a bit about the, the agenda and the speakers. Paulina, I mean, that's, that's your, your table. Well, so we have 120 speakers. I was so glad when the last speaker was submitted, like um, at 5 p.m. yesterday, and I was like, yes, we have even rows of speakers. <laughs> <laughs> on our website. Oh, the OCD. A perfect number, even number. Um, yes, OCD maybe. I'm an engineer. No. Oh, I, we just have to love that, right? We yes. have to embrace that. 120 speakers. A lot of them have been booked um, by our partners who have breakout sessions. Partners and nonprofit organizations that we have invited uh, because we love them and what they do and they play an important role. Um, the part that I've been working on is the main stage. Um, I have booked some, I think, 10, 12 speakers uh, for the main stage, I should know. Um, the theme for this year is the power, power of resilience. Uh, resilience being a word that has meant a lot to me during this year. Um, a word, key word that I've sort of held on to, and I'm still holding on to it to survive. Um, it's it's all about all the things that you can do to adjust to new situations, uh, which is what we've done um, the last couple of you know months or the last year. Um, how to how to survive and adjust? Um, yeah, so and it's about sort of. 
we're, we're taking it like we have so many different angles to it. One being diversity, of course, which and inclusion, which has always been so important to women in tech. Speaking about representation, if you can see it, you can be it. And we, we, all will, we, we sort of always aim for a stage, a main stage that represents the world as it looks and is. And um, and hopefully you can see that too um, to today as well. Yeah, and we will not be perfect. I mean, look at look at us right now. This is this is us. But throughout yep. the day, we hope that we will give you a good represent representation of what women in tech really are. E exactly. And just to underline that again, uh, any gender is welcome because we all need to work together be, uh, because everyone wins mm. uh, when we uh, get better at equality and better at inclusion. Yes. So everyone is welcome. And, and if we're all ever, needed to, yeah. uh, to adjust and survive and, and push push the future, uh, make it happen, so yeah, to speak. Exactly. Do you want me to mention some like specific speakers? Give us three names. Three names. Well, one of them uh, is Gita Nelly Rao. Uh, I can't help. I want age diversity in our agenda as well, but I can't help being so, 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 so impressed by Gita Nyali Rao, who's 15 years old. She's like the Greta of innovations. Uh, based in the US, she has, um, she's Indian American and um, has taken sort of, you know, the future into her own, own hands, uh, invented an anti-bullying, anti cyber-bullying uh, filter based on natural language processing, a, a detector for, for detecting lead in water to, to solve the water crisis in, in the US, to name a few. And she's also arranging all these workshops around the world. Um, Amazing. I love the fact that she's actually sharing her energy and her knowledge with other kids around the world. Um, another one is, um, well, a Swede who's now um, living in the UK, Catherine Massal, who um, is releasing her book uh, in, in English in just a couple of months, Mother Invention, mm. where she focuses on the, you know, how tech, the society broadly has been designed for men systematically and what that means for us as women. Mm -hmm. um, I know that our moderator, Un, is really excited about her. And we also have a, a friend of mine who I used to do research with at, at MIT Media Lab, Rana El Kayubi. I've tried to book her for so many years, but we haven't been able to make it happen. But this year, luckily, she, you know, our schedules matched. So she'll be here as well. And she's sort of, she uh, is running her own company based on emotional AI uh, called Affectiva. And she's here to talk about sort of importance of actually building um, emotional um, AI and, and more a more so, sort of holistic and humanistic approach to tech. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and uh, about Gitanjali, she will be live uh, in the afternoon. Yes. And a lot of the things that you see today will actually be available afterwards, mm -hmm. but Gitanjali will not. Yes. So do not miss that exact time spot because that will be only live. Um, just want to make sure you don't miss it. Um, I think we need a bit more music. Yes. So I'm, I'm going to call for Eleanor. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Eleanor, are you are you ready for my wish, my oh, request? I, I don't know. Uh, we couldn't do women in tech <laughs> or or empowered women without Dolly Parton. Oh. oh so yeah. I just give us give us your best Dolly Parton uh, interpretation, your best Dolly Parton song. Whoa, whoa, Thank, whoa. You. <laughs> Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. To all of you out there, sing along in the chorus. Jolene, 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 I'm begging of you, please don't take my man. Jolene, 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 please don't take him just because you can. Beauty is beyond the bear with flaming locks of open hair, with our skin eyes of emerald green. Your smile is like a breathless flame, your voice is soft like summer rain, 
I mean, oh, wow. P bar pianists are must be like the most versatile artists and, and most brilliant people ever. They can I just know. pop a song out of their head and just perform it. I know. Oh, thank you so much. And oh. people is like just <laughs> raging in a good way, like just uh, going crazy in the chat. Yeah. Oh, so great wonderful. <laughs> I think we have Osa in the city studio right now, and you're going to call one of our main partners. So Osa, take it away. Yeah, I'm going to take it away. I mean, Dolly Parton, having Heaven's God, is my favorite artist. So, I mean, as I said in the beginning, this is so familiar. familiar. We just planned this big event by sitting, looking at, at each other through Zoom and different kind of meetings. And we haven't, haven't done this without our partners. And I think that Tom uh, from EY is, uh, is with us. So I just want to see, are you there, Tom? Can we have a chat with you? Yeah, I'm here. I hope you can hear me. Yeah, I can, I, I like can. You always. You're not on mute and I can see you perfectly. Where are you? Are you at home? Yeah, right now I'm at home actually, as many others. As have many been, others. others. Glad to have you on board. I mean, you're the longtime partner, Tom. Do you know how many years you've been uh, doing this with us? I think this will be the fifth consecutive year. We joined in 2017. So yeah, as main yeah. partner for five, five times in a row now. Ah, it's fantastic to have you along. So, so why, why is it so important to you to be part of uh, Women in Tech? Yeah, for, for many reasons. I mean, driving the diversity and, diversity and inclusion agenda is important for us, of course, both from a recruiting perspective, but also making sure our colleagues feel appreciated and motivated and that they can be themselves but also in how we're delivering our services. That's always done in, a, in a, some type of team constellation, of course. And then we want to put together the best performing teams, the strongest te teams. And you cannot just cannot do that without having a diverse group of people. So uh, for many reasons, and also, also, of course, it's an excellent way to, to discuss our, the different type of tech transformation projects we help our clients with. And, and all in all, it's just a great arena for us to, to show what we mean with our purpose of building a better working world. And it wouldn't be this great arena without you. We're so grateful to have you on board. But when, um, I mean, you have built this EY launch when you look into the partner area here at the platform. What can we expect going visiting you there? Yeah, lots of things. First, I would recommend the, our breakout sessions. We have four of them starting after lunch. Uh, so the first one is focusing on investments and uh, mergers and acquisitions and entrepreneurship, which is very much in, the, in our DNA. 
The second one is on sustainability and how to use uh, tech as a catalyst to accelerate towards uh, UN 17's SDG, uh, the global goals. Uh, the third one, we'll be talking 5G, 6G and quantum computing together with a group of prominent guests from, from Telia, Ericsson and Microsoft. And in the fourth one, we'll uh, discuss uh, talent attraction, uh, the next, uh, attracting the next generation talent in uh, the new normal. So also a very relevant topics. And of course, I want to promote our job opportunities as well available in the EY lounge. I think we have 10 or 15 different uh, roles open now. So if you're open for work, if you have some tech skills, don't wait with your application. I think you just summed up the whole thing, the whole platform in, in one thing there. Thanks, Tom. But did you know we have Eleanor here, our, uh, our pianist, and she claims that she can play everything or anything. Uh, do you have a challenge for her? I saw that. She was amazing. Uh, let me see. I, I would say everything with um, Nina Simone is very much up my alley. So let's see if she can handle that. Good choice. Thanks for chatting with you, Tom. Eleanor, how about Nina Simone? Oh, well, uh, um, I, can, um, I can fantasize about the song. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I have in my head something like uh, a little bit of, I put a spell on you. Is that going to be fine? <laughs> oh, it's going to be fantastic. Take it away. Put a spell on you because you're mine. You better stop the things you do. I am. I just made a try at one of that those songs, Eleanor. That wouldn't be quite as good. I, I'm just going to say that. So if you if you just took a try at that one, ah, well done, well yeah. done, more than well done. If anybody knows the song, I mean, truly knows the song, they know that I've been cheating a little bit. No, so. we have some amazing comments uh, in the <laughs> chat. Um, I'm already super jealous of whoever said that they had you as a wedding singer. <gasps> oh! Somebody in the chat had you as a wedding singer yeah! and everyone is like jealous. Um, 
And and also, oh my God, where did you find her? Where did we find her? <laughs> uh, friends of friends of friends. Yes. Um, I'm, so, I'm so glad to be here. Yeah. All right. Uh, I know that we're going to get a, a, just a little bit of a, a hi from our uh, moderator, Un Svanström, in just a bit. She's in the makeup right now and she's getting a microphone. So, Un, you just pop right over when you're ready. Yeah. And meanwhile, we can just have a, a few words about the focus sessions because that's such an important thing um, in the agenda today. Because we have the main stage where we put like the, the broad themes, the, the big agendas, the, the big speaks, uh, the big talks. But we also have... Um, a way where you can sort of choose which, uh, what exact topic you want to listen to, right? Exactly. So in the um, sort of main entrance where you enter the main stage, under the main stage entrance is the focus session entrance. Um, networking is to the right. And uh, if you navigate later on or right now, uh, or please don't leave the main <laughs> stage right now, but afterwards, <laughs> you'll be able to see all the studios. We have... Um, eight studios and programs going on during the break, sort of focus sessions, time slots. Um, there will be like const a constant flow of breakouts. Um, and please do, if you haven't already done that, check out the agenda, the focus session agenda on the website to sort of you don't have to sign up for the focus sessions, but it's, you know, there's so many that it really helps the experience to check out which ones you're more interested in. Um, yeah, so you uh, can you enter them as, as quickly as possible. You can find the agenda in the info desk. Oh, yes. So actually, if you go in, in there and every red spot that you see sort of pulsating, that's a place to, to click because something really might happen to you. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you can also just enter a studio now uh, or after this program is over, and, and you'll be able to see the specific agenda for that uh, studio um, now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, most of the sessions, the focus sessions, are also followed up by um, a discussion. So if we have looked at um, an, an interesting session and we just want to keep talking about it a bit, yeah. uh, we will be quick to go into the video meeting that's after that session. Uh, and if we're lucky, we uh, be, will be there on time, be one of the 50 people to get to talk to each other and maybe also to the speakers. So that's, that's one more brilliant way to use the digital platform to make sure that you can sort of zoom in and be, be on a one-on-one -on -one or 50 on one <laughs> with the speakers. Yeah. And the nifty thing with the virtual experience is that it's so easy to move between the breakout rooms yeah. uh, in a physical space. You actually have to account, you know, take time into account in a different way. The purpose of the focus sessions is, of course, that you know it's impossible. The women in tech audience is so broad. You know that we have, you know, the whole range from from hardcore AI programmers to and robot programmers as, as myself to uh, in, to women working in the tech industry, but with communication, marketing, leadership, organization. So we have the whole spectrum of topics, uh, a little bit for, you know, a little bit of everything. Um, on the main stage, we focus on highlighting the role models. So um, the more sort of the larger picture, the big questions, the, the big challenges that we're targeting uh, and dealing with in the focus session, we can get nerdy, and yeah. that's what we do. Yeah, you pick and choose. It's a smorgasbord. It's a smorgasbord. Really. I can see Un um, entering the, the oh, main yeah, stage yeah, yeah. area. So Un, just please come in and say hi. Maybe yes. if you just scoot I will sc over. I will scoot over. And, and, and hey! Hi, Un. Good morning. <laughs> and this is just a sneak preview, all right? You, she needs to sort of get... No, you don't need more makeup. You're pretty uh, <laughs> perfect. Uh, but you. you just need to, to sort of get in the zone. So this is just to say hi so that people see that you're here. Yes, I think Hi. that camera, the camera number one is your camera. Oh my God, it feels amazing <laughs> to be here and say like a little sneak peek. Hi, how are, how are things going? What's the chat like? It's, I mean, it's amazing. It's super amazing, but I just realized I left the room. I have to, oh, <laughs> I have to go back to main stage. I mean, yeah. we are, what has been kind of um, scary about this is, are we going to get that same feeling of uh, um, being, being a part of something where, with a lot of people, th that the community feeling? And I think we're getting there. And, and it's just warm, it warms my, warms my heart. 
It makes me so happy. I have the feeling for sure. It's that it's here in the studio, and yeah, I yeah. I can't wait for this like the program to get started. Like the speakers, they're amazing. And this is your third year. My third year. Yes. And we definitely won't let you go. I mean, <laughs> thank you. If it's up to us, it will be another at least three years, but hopefully like ten years. Hopefully. Yeah. What? Well, oh my God! I can't imagine uh, like seeing if if we do this ten years from now yeah. again, like. We will be pumped the tantan eventually. Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, this will be Golden Girls. Golden I love girls, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be fantastic. Yeah, love that. Oh, for we sure. Need, we need more senior ladies in tech as well. We because we need to yeah. stay. Yes, we yes, that's the thing. We like having a long career in tech is something I really, really look forward to, mm -hmm. and I cannot, cannot wait to see the like tech that we'll have in the future, mm -hmm. like. I mean, the leap that we have been taking the last years. I know, I know. Like, But that's the thing about tech. What's so interesting about it, it's not like a linear uh, path of development. It's exponential. Yep. And understanding what exponentiality feels like, I think the pandemic has been good for that, actually. Yeah. Well, to me, it actually feels like, well, it's exponential, but it's also a lot of like circles and back and forth. Like some technologies, like suddenly all the tech that enables us to not, you know, have physical contact is super popular and yes. needed. So VR, AR, the tech platforms that we have viewed as cool, but maybe not super necessary, are suddenly crucial. Here, we need yes. it. It's so our, it's like, yeah. oh, wow. Uh, I love it when those leaps in um, in what we're actually, like the technology, mm. like here it is. Here is one of those leaps. We have a message from Lina Hoa. Hi, Eun, so awesome to see you. And congrats to your new job. And seeing you reminds me of awesome times and you gaming on a a bumpy <laughs> bus north of Khartoum. I, it, this sounds like a story I want to hear more about later. But tell us I about your new that. job. You actually joined um, uh, like a sector that actually drives a lot of innovation and has done for the couple of, last couple of years. Yes, so I just started a new job. I am now a UX designer at Mojang. I get to work on Minecraft, which is it's the largest game in the world. Yes. We have 130 million active users monthly, mm. which is yeah, just so I, I told my two kids that you're actually joining the after party at my place after this, <laughs> and they, you know, they, you know, they will talk to you. Trust me. Oh, I, I will talk to do. them. Oh yeah, I yeah. will be like, so what are your? <laughs> tell me about your experience. Yeah. <laughs> what is it that you like? Where is the fun? Um, which is what I love about that. Yes. I love that game because it is, it is a true expression of creativity, mm -hmm. and kids like at any age just get it, mm -hmm. and adults love it, and. And it's not, you're not controlled. It's all about you and uh, your creativity, which I really, really love. And Un, you also started a YouTube channel this year, right? I didn't did. you? I did. I did. I needed something to do when I couldn't <laughs> do regular stuff in the world. So yes, I have a YouTube channel where I educate on design and prototyping mm. in a uh, fun, I try to do it in a fun and friendly way. So it's not so much uh, like, here is the perfect way and the only way to know that. You do it in your way, which is wonderful. I think, I, I think it's, a, it's a beautiful channel. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You just search for my name on YouTube and uh, you'll find it. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> I think we're going to let you go back to your preparations. Oh, yeah, thank you. And, thank you. And yeah. we'll, we'll see you pretty, pretty soon. So yeah. In go back in minutes or so. Do your, do your thing. What's, what's your relaxation or what's your pep talk to yourself? What, do you have a ritual? Um, I try to do like a, a power woman power stance. Oh, right. So to get to be like, and also silly dancing is good oh, yeah. <laughs> to, get, uh, to get stoked. I'm happy you didn't see me out in the green room <laughs> when the piano was playing. Um, yeah, well, yeah that's well, we were dancing in the sofa, so you know, you just can't help yourself. <laughs> nope. <laughs> A lot of people are asking what it, about your name. It's Unsvanström. Unsvanström. So you can Google that. Yes. And find you.
Yes. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, I'm at the very bottom of the list of all the speakers. So if you just go on to the website, I actually, scroll I actually bumped you, you up. Bumped and me? Yes, I did. Uh, I meant to at least. Thank I, you. I hope that's the case. I'm, on the li I'm in the list of the speakers, <laughs> but there's so many speakers. So how will you find me? That's yeah, you're just, you're just after the keynote speakers. Oh, okay, thank mm. you. We, we realized we, we couldn't just push. <laughs> no one puts on at the bottom of the list. <laughs> Nobody puts baby in a corner. That's right. Thank you, guys. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> See you <laughs> soon. See you soon. I just feel the need to say we're not having a huge after party, of course. No, I realized I mentioned right. that. Right. No, it's just like the four of us, the core team, and we, we've been working we're together have a small for like dinner. Yeah, we're not having party. a big, big party. <laughs> These are not the times. Yeah, we're already in the circle, so. Yes. That's what exactly. it is. Um, I know that we have one more song from Eleanor. Uh, we just cannot help ourselves. We need to do that. Mm -hmm. Wasa, this one uh, is from you, right? Yeah, I cannot um, help myself. I mean, sitting like this, having breakfast with you, um, I'm thinking of what's on my breakfast morning Spotify list. And one of my favorite songs to get me going in the morning is um, something Eva Cassidy, Fields of Gold. Eleanor? Yeah. Would you mind? I, I oh thought God. you were going to say breakfast and then breakfast at Tiffany's. And <laughs> breakfast I thought. Breakfast at Tiffany's with Eva Cassidy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It could happen. Again, Eleanor, you're fantastic. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I mean, what a start to a morning. It just, it just feels amazing. Uh, so people are asking for your contact info now. <laughs> 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 they want to book you as a wedding singer, etc., uh, etc. Et um, Let's make sure to put Eleanor uh, on the speakers list. Yes. And, and we'll add a link or something to that. Yes. We'll, we'll connect you because we'll, we'll this woman connect you. Yes. We'll yes. Connect you. Uh, all right, for those of you who just walked in, this is our slow start, soft morning breakfast sort of session. We're mm -hmm. talking about the day and the agenda and giving Moody. examples. We're drinking smoothies and coffee. Um, I'm Elin, that's Paulina, and that's Osa. Um, and we're the core team of, of Women in Tech Sweden. And we're just so happy 
that you're all here. Should we mention that, that this is not, I mean, this is a big part of what we do, but it's not the only thing we do and that we're planning to do even more um, between the conferences, the annual conference. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Women in Tech started in 2014 when three companies joined uh, forces to, to make sure to celebrate the women that they had in their teams. It was Google, it was Spotify, and it was MTGX. Um, and after that, it just grew because there was such a, such a need for, for a platform, for somewhere to meet. Um, so every year, this, uh, this has grown as an event and as a conference. And this year, we're more people than ever. We're more than 4,000 who are on this platform today. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it just blows me away to think about it. And, and it's also amazing to see companies that are normally, um, big companies that are normally um, sort of in the same field uh, and not necessarily collaborating, that they're actually joining forces in this because it's such an important cause. Yeah, I mean, they can, they can see, we can see that we need to work together because the, the pool of talents needs to be larger uh, and it benefits us all in so many ways. Mm. But as you started to say, it, I mean, it started as an event, but it's, it is something that we try to prolong throughout the year. So what you will also, uh, as a member of Women in Tech.se, you will get offers to, to join uh, other meetups and, and other networking opportunities. So mm -hmm. just stay tuned to our channels and uh, make sure that you get the emails. Um, you can log into Women in Tech.se, make sure you're, uh, we have your email right and so on. Because there will be more things happening throughout yeah. the year. And you already mentioned that Women in Tech is all about sort of the network, which is super important, the role models. And hopefully, as a natural part of that, it will become more of a, of a job platform, a career platform as well. So we're definitely looking into to that. Yeah, that, that's really interesting because I think all the three of us, we get like uh, proposals or, or people are asking us, can you please help us find women? Can you help us find, uh, I, yeah. need a, I need a co-founder, I need a, a CTO, I need developers, I need yeah. this and that for very, very different companies. Mm. So there's such a need for the talent. There's a need for you people, all right? There's a need for us. Mm. Um, and if you, if you want a great career, just stay. And if the, the company that you're at isn't really treating you the way you should be treated, switch, jump, change, do something else. Uh, there's, there's plenty of companies that want your talent. Yeah, definitely. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to say, but, but you, you need to change your own environment if, if you're not treated right. Basically. Yeah. So we have just like a, a minute almost uh, until we take a break. Um, and then at 10 o'clock, um, the real program starts because we're just like the, um, what, is, what is it called? The band that plays before the real band? The big, the big show? <laughs> the, yeah, we're just warming up. We're, we're warming you up. Uh, and then there's Un and then there's all the speakers. Exactly. <clears throat> but we will join at the end of the event as well and just do a quick wrap up, right? Yeah. Yes. And we will be on the platform. So you can actually find one of us and, and have a chat and have a video, uh, video meeting. Uh, so we'll be here all day. Yes. And just, uh, yeah. just let us know yeah. your thoughts. Uh, and of course, we will send an evaluation and thank you email afterwards. And we would love to hear uh, what you thought was good and what needs to be improved. Right? Yes. Anything else? Well, right one now? important thing, I love working for events where you take sort of the safety of people uh, into account as well and that everyone feels welcome. If, if anything happens on the platform that you don't feel comfortable with, if, if somebody, you know, uh, says something or does something that sort of... Uh, makes you feel bad, who should people contact in that case? Uh, go to the help desk uh, and there's contact info for, I think, both Emma and Stina, who yes. are all our, like our, our front desk. Yeah. Uh, so send an email and we'll make sure that it's taken care of. Yes. Good point. And there's yeah, it's no a part of the harassment, code of, point. Yeah. no racism, no sexism. This is a space that we really want to be welcoming and inclusive for everyone. And we really mean everyone. Yeah. I think we need to wrap it up. Osa, yes. any final words from the City Studio? No, I'm so looking forward to this. This studio is starting to fill up with people as well. Uh, and I think that the, the energy in this room is fantastic. And I, I think I can feel your energy over here as well. So thanks for having the morning coffee with me. Um, and I'm looking forward to this day. And I'll, <laughs> I'll see you soon, maybe. Yes. So that's, that's everything from the morning sofa. Yes. Thank you so much. See you in a bit. Bye.